Hey guys, it's Kirk from I Am Music. We're going to pick up where we left off in that last video, and we had changed uh, the bass, and I think this was a marimba or a steel drum, I forget, and we changed it to some other sound. Um, now let's pretend you would like to change the drums that are used in a given style. Okay. So same idea up here as the name of the kit that's used. You see this is using something called Kit Cuban, which makes sense. Uh, Sun Island, I hear tropical sounds and marimbas and, well not marimbas, but uh, congas and kabasas and shakers and th things that make you think of uh, tropical islands, right? So you can easily change that the same way by going and picking a different kit that one probably isn't a good one, but we'll, we're going to pick it just for the heck of it. So I'm going to click load. And so now we've made that change. Now let's pretend that now that that kit is selected, we would like to change one of the instruments in the kit. And this is where the edit function is different um, versus editing an instrument. So when you first click it, you still get the panning and the reverb and the volume an octave. Um, octave makes no sense when you're messing with drum tracks because each note is a drum sound like uh, C1 is kick drum for example. So if I raise this an octave now it's playing a whole different set of notes one octave higher and those instruments uh, because it's not melodic sounds it's percussion sounds it's a totally different set of sounds. Not that you can't change this, but... No notice it completely changes what you hear. Okay, now, here's one thing that's interesting and quite a bit different because we're editing a drum kit. There's a button here called Adjust Drums. On the left, you see here, let me, uh, let me turn that off for a minute. If I can. Uh, I can't. There we go. Okay. Um, so on the left, you see the... Oh, it's still playing. It's just quiet. Shh. Um, in the, on the left, you see sounds that are in the kit that are actually being used. And on the right, you see um, sounds you can substitute or exchange, as they call it. So let's turn that up again. So it's using this sound and let's exchange it for blip kit and you have to click the change button so you can actually hear it okay uh, let's pick hammer kick change and we turn it up so I hope you can hear those changes let me click snare uh, so from hammer snare, let's go to snare rim, click change. That's just the snare part. Let's try it one more time. Change. So let me unsolo it. And now you hear the changes that we made two ways. We, we first of all changed the kit it was using and then we messed around a little bit with the snare and what was it, the kick, I forget. Now if we unsolo it, not necessarily the, uh, the change I would keep, but it's showing you how much you can change it. Now you're not changing the pattern again. There, let's turn this off. You're not changing the pattern, you're changing the instrumentation uh, of the melodic sounds and if you choose the actual um, drum instruments used in the drum pattern. Before we end this video, let me show you one more thing. Now, I would never keep the changes that we've made. And again, they were examples just to show what could be done. Um, but let's say that I fell in love with this new style and I'd like to save it as a user style. So up here, save, right? So you click this guy and it comes up with uh, the first available slot, which is number 10 in my case. Let me hit rename first. 
So the original style was called Sun Island, right? I'm just going to add uh, IMM in the front of that for IM Music. And I'm going to click Enter. And now this, this is the new name. And it's going to go in slot number 10. Let's click Save. And uh, let's turn that off again. And so now if I go to uh, Accompaniment, and I go to <clears throat> user, uh, where the heck are, I'm sorry, user here. Uh, and we go to number 10 right here. There is our IMM Sun Island style. And if we wanted to use that, you'd pick it and load it. And now you've got the style with whatever changes you have made. As always, thanks for watching. Grace.